It's live from last week episode 21. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. So, after spending the last three hours taking a nap after my first night shift, while I still have it temporarily, I decided to spend some time with my mini. And on that note, I worked with one of my coworkers last night that I haven't seen or spent time with in a long time and decided to do an impromptu photo shoot with him and my new mini. Taking photos like this and like this and like this and like this. So shout outs out there for PK for spending some time with me and catching up. And on that note, I have some birthday greetings for today. First, I have a birthday greeting for Tyler. Happy birthday, Tyler. I'm remembering you from my high school times back at St. Stephen's. And I always admired how you talked about your skills in strength and bodybuilding. And I also wanted to compliment you on your sweet pics and posts of your Subaru and Audi. Anyways, Tyler, I hope you're staying safe out there and that you had a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting I have for Brent. Happy birthday, Brent. This guy's a beach volleyball player who I met and ran into this past summer. And I actually have a couple of videos and highlight clips of when we played this past summer together. I hope you're staying safe out there, Brent, that you have a good one and you have a happy birthday too. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends, Bradburn. Happy birthday, Corey. I'm remembering the times that we would play foot hockey at recess back at Mother Teresa. As well as you telling me that your favorite race car driver at that time was Juan Pablo Montoya. And the fact that every time I think about or watch car racing, you pop up in my mind. I hope you're still racing out there from time to time, that you're staying safe and that you had a happy birthday, Kobo. Before I head in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, I just want to wish all nurses out there, friends, family, colleagues, and coworkers, a happy International Nurses Day. And I'm wearing a special t-shirt for you guys today because as nurses, we get shift done. So when you guys get the chance, feel free to reach out to a nurse that you know and tell them we appreciate the work that you guys are doing. Also, for today, we have a birthday greeting for Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. An elementary school and high school friend of mine who I used to play volleyball with. And a person who used to host amazing backyard parties back in high school on Baseline Road. Anyways, Vanessa, hope you're staying safe and healthy out there and you have a great birthday. So, this morning, I was in a pretty good mood because I was coming off the last of my three night shifts. So good, in fact, that after my shift, I went straight to No Frills and double fisted on some pizzas. But yeah, another thing also got me in a good mood. I was actually in a raffle for nursing week and as you can see by this picture, I managed to win a brand new mirror ornament for my mini. Speaking of which, here's another photo of me with the prize that I won this morning and my mini. So, so far in terms of giveaways, it's been a pretty good nursing week. Can't wait to use this baby sometime in the near future. And that future will start right now because work called me in this morning to come in for a fourth night shift in a row. But before I go in for my fourth night shift, I have some birthday greetings for today. I have a birthday greeting for Ashley. Happy birthday, Ashley. A classmate that I had back when I was in high school who most recently started up a business working from home. And I'm wishing you the best of luck with that, Ashley. Anyways, Ashley, hope you're staying safe out there. Hope you got to spend time with your little ones and I hope you had a great birthday. Next birthday greeting I have for one of my old coworkers, Scott. Happy birthday, Scott. I'm remembering the times that you brought your little campers to the health center back at BVG. Hope you're staying safe out there. Hope you're doing well. And I hope you had a happy birthday, Scott. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to Rochelle. Happy birthday, Rochelle. One of the friends that I had that were actually friends of friends of mine that I met at a beach gathering years ago back when I was in university. And also remembering the times that we played beach volleyball back in the day. I hope you're staying safe out there, Rochelle, that your little one spoiled you on your special day and that you had a great birthday. Today has been one of those up and down, bittersweet kind of days. On one hand, I have my first day off after doing four night shifts in a row. On the other hand, I'm feeling so exhausted because I've only slept for two hours post night shift. On one hand, I was so excited because I got to use my stethoscope that I got for nursing week this week. On the other hand, after over 12 years of professional use, I have finally retired my childhood baby blue stethoscope. 
On one hand, I recently achieved a record for myself on Duolingo. A 1500-day streak. But on the other hand, I'm still having troubles with my Mini. I notice that whenever I press the gas on the Mini, it is a little bit sluggish to respond and it accelerates a little bit slower than I'm used to. So what did I do? I decided to put on some gloves, grab the latch to pop the hood, and pretend to play mechanic for a little bit. And even though I suspected it, what I found was not good. With a flashlight, I looked at all my fluid levels and I noticed that with all of them, they were either very low or non-existent. And by this video, I looked underneath the bottom of my car and saw a little bit of puddling, indicating that there might be a leak. But we'll just have to see what I decide to do with this problem. But let's go on to some good news for today at least. I have a birthday greeting for Bucky. Happy birthday, Bucky. She's a former coworker of mine who I always enjoyed working with. And back at the time that she was working with me, we would always joke around about that DNC song. I hope you're doing well in your career now, Bookie, that you're staying safe, and for today, that you're having your share of birthday cake by the ocean. So, with my Mini Cooper crapping out on me recently, I think today is a great day to test drive some cars. But unfortunately, I was not able to test drive that car. You see, this dealership works a little bit differently than others. If you were really serious about purchasing the car, you would first put down a $500 deposit, then the dealership will take that car and bring it to their mechanic to get it safety certified. And if it's not up to standards, the mechanics will repair and replace anything and everything to make the car roadworthy. Then, in about a week after that process is finished, you would finally take that car for a test drive. And from there, you have three options. Number one, if you still find problems with the car, the mechanics will fix them. Number two, if there are no problems with the car and you just don't want to go through with purchasing it, then you just lose your deposit. And finally, number three, if you decide that you like the car, you just simply pay or finance the rest of the sale balance. So the pros in this case is that you get the car for a cheaper price. And the car that I chose has a nice interior that I like. Plus, it comes in a really sleek aqua blue color. On the other hand, here are the cons. You don't know how the car drives until you actually pay a deposit. And in the case of the car that I chose, it comes with over 200,000 kilometers on it. Plus, this video that I have of under the car and all its rust that it has kind of worries me a little bit. So, what do you guys think? I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below if the pros outweigh the cons and I should put in a deposit or if the cons outweigh the pros and I should look elsewhere. So earlier today, I reached out to the head honcho of advice, my dad, for a little bit of guidance on the Mazda 3 that I looked at yesterday. And I also showed him the beautiful videos of the rust underneath the car. And you know what he advised me to do? Was to not buy it. So I just wanna thank you dad for giving me the advice and I guess it doesn't look like that I'm gonna buy that Mazda 3 anytime soon. But before I go into work for one random night shift tonight, I just want to take this time to apologize to my dad for misleading him in the headline that I had for last week's episode. To be honest, I didn't spend $4,000 on the car or any repairs last week. So dad, I apologize. I hope you stop worrying. And I'm so sorry that these past few episodes, these past few weeks have caused you so much stress. So I woke up post night shift after a two hour nap, but it's okay because I'm at the mini dealership for a test drive. Sorry that I've been playing games Do you really have what it takes? I guess so, I guess so I guess so, I guess so I am a queen, I need my king You better not to sin I think so, I think so 
So, after a test drive with the fiance, her and I decided to go on a food date to a nearby place in our local hood in Scarborough. The place, you ask, is called London Fried Chicken. Here, we decided to check out the chicken burger special with fries and a drink. And the deal only cost five or six bucks a meal. We then went to a local park and saw that there was a picnic table available. And while discussing the price and the details of our new potential car, we enjoyed our food. As for the chicken burger, I'd rate it a solid 8 out of 10. But anyways, moving on, we got some birthdays to celebrate today. First, I have a birthday greeting for Marlene. Happy birthday, Marlene. I'm remembering the times that you and I would spend together as CAs back at Wysik, when you and I would log long hours helping new members move in on move-in day. Anyways, Marlene, I hope you and your young family are doing well at this time and that you celebrated your birthday well. Happy birthday, Marlene. And secondly, I have a birthday greeting for Naja. Happy birthday, Naja. I'm remembering the times that we would go visit Boston and we would meet up. When we would go and get food truck food or even go to a local bar. Like that time when we got blueberry beer. You remember that? Anyways, Naja, I can't wait till the pandemic is over so we can go and visit you guys in Boston again. And I hope you're staying safe out there and you have a great birthday. Anyways, guys, it's finally come up to the end of the episode. So if you guys liked what you were watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.